Salutations, friends, and a happy new year, 2023. Let's go. Let's do this. We're entering this new year with good vibes. We're chilling. We're vibing. We're manifesting growth and happiness and new beginnings. At least I am. I hope that you are manifesting the things that you need and want in your life. I'm just going to throw this in here as a quick warning before I start rambling on. This is going to be a very chatty video, and I probably won't be talking much about the art itself. So if you don't want to hear me ramble on the whole video feel free to just mute me and put on your own music or something something you like maybe a podcast maybe some heavy metal personally i love listening to slipknot when i have really big projects that i'm working on or maybe you would like to listen to something a little bit softer like uh some keaton henson perhaps i don't know i've really did the two ends of my my music spectrum we've, we've got you know the rah 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 and then um, just like a really sad guitar ballads <laughs> um, anyway i'm really happy with this piece and even if you're not interested in me and my life and the things that i have to talk about um i still suggest that you watch it just for the art it was really fun and a really like nice process i had so much fun making it and I got to be kind of loose, and it's in a style that I, I, I'm trying out, and I got to use my watercolors. It's just, it's fun. I, I love the piece. Anyway, uh, let's talk about 2022. 2022 was something, um, at least for me. It was a very stagnant year. I feel like 2021 was wild, and a whole bunch of things happened in 2021, and in 2022 was just kind of kind of a lull. Um, in 2021, I feel like I started the year by taking two big steps forward in my life. I feel like I, I moved forward and I progressed as a person and I learned a lot and I grew a lot. And then the last half of the year, I kind of just fell way backwards, back further than I was when I started the year. And in 2022, I kind of just stayed there in that backwards place. I wouldn't say it was a bad year, but just not a great year, not a significant, well, every year is significant, but like, not a lot happened, not a lot of big things happened, I guess, I can't say that, but it's like, I don't know, it feels like I haven't done anything, it feels like I haven't grown, I haven't progressed, which, that's usually what I try to do every year, you know, is grow and progress in my life, and I feel like I didn't do that. I did do things. I did some stuff. Uh, started the year off, went to Disneyland. I didn't get COVID from that. I came back home and got COVID from my stepdad and got super sick from it. Ended up going to the ER twice. Never really got 100% better. Pretty sure I have long COVID syndrome or whatever that's called that they're still trying to figure out what the fuck it is. I have all the symptoms for it. I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, what else did I do? I shaved my head. That was a big thing, a big moment in my life. I've been wanting to shave my head for years because I just thought it would be fun and it was really fun. It was super satisfying. Uh, if you're thinking about shaving your head, shave your head. Uh, it's, it's so freeing and so satisfying. I did do it in January, which was not... <laughs> well, I guess I was... It wouldn't have been smart either way. If I had done it in the summertime, I would have gotten sunburnt on my head, um, which wouldn't have been good. But uh, doing it in the middle of the winter, your head does get cold. I wore a lot of beanies, and half the people in my life didn't even know that I shaved my head until I already had like an inch or two of growth because I was always just covering it up with a hat. What else happened? I broke up with my boyfriend. Fun. Um, I sculpted my little rose sculptures and didn't sell any, uh, got super discouraged about it, and then I got fired from my job and got really stressed out about it. Started going to therapy and started working on myself. Therapy was awesome. Still kind of in it, but you know. Um, and then I started selling a lot of my roses. and. I was able to remain unemployed and focus on my shop and pay my rent for a couple of months and it was awesome and I'm so incredibly grateful. November I didn't make as much money. 
I'm still a broke bitch, but I was able to pay my rent for November. Uh, so, you know, awesome. I am incredibly grateful to everybody who bought one of the, my roses or something from my shop. If you still want a rose, I'm still selling them. They are still available. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm limiting the quantity of roses that I'm making, but I, yeah, still doing that. Um, also I have plans for Valentine's Day stuff. Valentine's Day is coming up. If you want to get yourself something for Valentine's Day, or if you want to get a friend or a lover something for Valentine's Day, uh, here's a, a little sneak peek of what I've got going on. Ready? Bam! Did you see it? Because it saw you. Anyway... I made my first historical reproduction costume. Costume is awesome. Love it. Will be doing more of those, but I will not be doing it in uh, the three days before Halloween. Zero out of ten would not recommend making an entire head-to-toe 1880s ensemble within three days. It was a bad idea, but it got done. Um, and then I was completely burnt out from it. I... Uh, made Christmas ornaments, and I did not sell very many of those, unfortunately. Hopefully, I'll bring them back next year, um, and they'll, they'll do a little bit better. I, just within the last couple of weeks, or week or so, rediscovered some of my favorite music from when I was in high school and, like, freshly out of high school, and it reignited my drive for drawing and doing artsy stuff and writing, um, and now we're here. Uh, now, now we are drawing and doing artsy stuff. Ooh. By the way, did you know that the album Blurry Face by 21 Pilots came out seven years ago? Seven years ago? <laughs> I'm gonna repeat that one more time. Seven years. That was the last time that I listened to 21 Pilots. Um, I stopped listening because I had kind of a negative concert experience. Not because of the band. Um, they were awesome and amazing and I still, like, have, like, vibrant visuals in my head of, of them on stage and just performance amazing. Had an amazing time actually at the concert. It was more like before and after the concert where it kind of was negative. But yet, yeah, it was a toxic person they're no longer in my life that was seven years ago and at the time i kind of stopped listening because it kind of gave me bad bad vibes but now i don't get those feelings anymore I've, I've moved on i moved on a long time ago i just never started listening to 21 pilots again um time is wild man uh i was 18 i was in beauty school i was unmedicated and having panic attacks on a, a daily basis and on the verge of just a complete mental break and now i am medicated in therapy no longer having panic attacks every single day multiple times a day um anyway their new album is a total vibe uh, scale the nicey is is a vibe i do enjoy it not the biggest fan of trench but i I have had Choker on repeat for the last couple of days and did do four gouache studies from the music video. Those will be in a sketchbook tour hopefully soon. Woo, keep 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 your eyes out. <laughs> okay, let's focus. Focus, Evelyn. Um, obviously I'm trying this new format out. One of my goals this year is to post a video every week. I did that for most of 2020, and then I don't know what happened in 2021. I do know what happened in 2021, but whatever. And then I, I kind of kept a bad habit from 2021 going into 2022, and I tried to get back into it, and I kind of did, and I'm just, I'm determined. Every week this year, starting this with this one, on New Year's Day, coming out, I'm literally recording this at 3 o'clock in the morning, but I don't want to put myself in a box when it comes to content and what I make and the kinds of videos that I put out there. I know it's not the most pleasing thing for the algorithmic YouTube gods that look over us to be all over the place into type of content and themes that I use, but or that anybody uses, but um, y'all, I have my hands in so many different creative pots and I just, like, having to just make art videos or just do DIYs or sewing videos or thrift hauls or vlogs, it just 
it just ain't gonna work for me. It just ain't. My channel is still tiny and obsolete, and I'm kind of stuck at 380 subscribers, and I'm not gonna be making any money off this anytime soon. Um, hopefully one day I will be at that point, but for now, this is literally just a passion project, and I'm gonna do the things that keep me passionate about it. My channel is already just a grab bag of random stuff, so anybody who has been around for more than one video or two videos knows that, and it's not going to be a surprise and they're gonna be like, why are you telling me this? It's like, we already know. But this isn't for- this isn't for you guys. This is for me. It's me saying it out loud, putting it out there, reminding myself that I am allowed to do different things. I don't have to force myself to make things in a certain medium just because it's what I've made before, or it's what has done well on my channel before. I am a maker, I am a creator, I make and create all kinds of mediums. I sew, I paint, I sculpt, I film, I fuck up my hair, I like doing wild makeup, I write, I'm like, I love photography, I'm really into fashion and thrifting and nature and interior design and vlogging and I love all of these things and to get in my own head and make myself feel like I can't film certain things because they're not like my popular videos or like the other things that I have been posting it's just it has made me lose the motivation to actually make videos and that's the worst part because I love making videos I love content creation I love putting putting myself out there on onto the into the world giving content out there um it's so fun it is so much fun for me i love making videos so you can expect a lot of new content and a large variety of content from me this year exciting things are happening not just in this little youtube world that i'm living in but in other places in my life too and i'm so excited to share them as the year progresses I plan, I have schemes, I'm scheming over here in the Fletcher residence, it is, I've got a red yarn tacked all over my walls for my schemes and my plans, um, not really because that sounds like uh, a lot of work and um, a lot of planning and I'm not great at planning, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little chat in uh, this beautiful portrait of my Rufus, my son, my boy. It is his birthday as well. Everybody wish him a happy birthday. He has turned three years old. He's all grown up and he got to eat his two favorite foods as a little birthday treat. Those two foods being chicken and ranch dressing that one time I caught him shoving his face into one day when I left a plate of chicken nuggets out where he could get to them. And when I tried to take it away from him, he actually gave me a little hiss. This boy never hisses. I've seen him hiss maybe two times in his life, but he... He did not want me to take the ranch dressing away from him. I did, because it was my ranch dressing, my chicken nuggets, and they weren't all for him. And it's unhealthy for him. But, uh, yeah, so I gave him just a tiny bit of ranch. Just a little bit, not a lot. It was just for a treat, for a special occasion. Don't worry, I'm not just shoving ranch into my cat's mouth. He isn't gonna get any more until his next birthday, probably, unless I discover a food that he likes more than chicken and ranch dressing. Anyway, I hope you had a wonderful holiday, and I hope this year brings you exactly what you need in your life. I can feel it, y'all. It's gonna be exciting. Big things are gonna happen. I'm manifesting it. I'm manifesting the growth as a human being, as a person. Um, and I just, I want to end this year having progressed in my life towards my, like, goals, you know? If I can say that at the end of the year, I will be satisfied. We we do our best to do okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to subscribe. I will be uploading every week this year, and I would love to have you. I'm still a little tiny baby channel. My channel is still tiny. I'm difficult to find, so if you want to see more art from me, if you want to see more of my creative endeavors, more sewing DIYs, vlogs, thrift hauls, all kinds of stuff, um, then I was excited. Then you should subscribe. It's just easier that way <laughs> because then I just show up in your subscription. 
list every week um every week i'm putting it out there every week as always my shop is linked down in the description if you're interested in some unique hand sculpted decor hand painted art and uh, also i'm also planning on doing prints and stickers here soon so you know keep an eye out for that and with that i will see you next week i will i will see you next week i love you goodbye don't forget to wash your hands happy new year (laughs) bye not interested at all can you just go over there so i can i just want to get a shot of you next to my beautiful portrait of you and instead you're over here rubbing yourself all over a box hey that's where the lighting is it's all dark yellow over here You're a terrible model. Terrible. Can you go? Go. What are you doing? That looks so uncomfortable.